Hi guys, it's Marcy. Oh, I wanted to see what time I started. Okay, um, it's Marcy. I am back again for some more. What did somebody call it? Somebody had a cute name for it. Anyway, cooking with whatever you can find. Um, I have actually not been to the to the grocery in several days, so I am out of like. Well, I've got lots in the freezer, but I'm trying to make this easy for you guys. So. What have we got? We've got some tuna. So today I'm gonna make tuna melts. It's always been one of my kids' favorites. I'm not sure why, I guess I'm lucky with that. Um, so I've got my little cans of tuna that I get at Sam's. I'm gonna put a couple of these in. Here, I'll turn it down so you guys can see. We're doing real easy today. Um, Cause I'm always about easy. Uh, thank you to everyone who's been putting orders in. I appreciate it. Um, I'm so glad so many people are taking advantage of the half price on all of our cooking products. And I want to thank my company again for doing that. Okay, so as you know, I like never measure. So I'll put a couple of tablespoons of that in. Then I've got um, some Penzi's air dried shallots. I love Penzi's spices and stuff. So. We're gonna add a few of those in. It's hard to make like, I'm not used to making smaller portions. Um, okay, then what's the other one? Oh, our Caribbean seasoning blend. This is really good. My favorite thing to put this on is, mm, it smells so good, is pineapple. When I grill pineapple, oh, that's what I'm gonna get next time I'm out. I put some of that on too. Um, and it tastes so good. Okay, got that in there. Mix that up. Then the other thing I'm going to put in, oh shoot, you know what, I'll add that afterwards. But I usually like to um, boil some eggs and put that in. Uh, you know, cut up some hard boiled eggs and put those in. Oh, yay, we're back. Okay, well, so I'll fill you in on what, <laughs> It, we uh, stopped shooting for a little while. So I put in a scoop or two of the roasted pineapple pepper chutney. That gives it a combination of really great flavors. Um, another thing that I always put into our um, tuna is some uh, Parmesan cheese. I know people think I'm crazy, but you know, tuna melt has cheese in it anyway. But my kids are obsessed with Parmesan cheese, always have been. So, like I said, I'm gonna add the eggs in a little while. But, so after this, all I have to do, I've got some English muffins, but you can use bread, you can use toast. Uh, by the way, St. Louis Bread Company has dry, drive through I'm gonna put on this, whatever cheese you want to put on top, go ahead and do that. Um, I've got some Swiss cheese I'm gonna use today. Um, then the other thing I'm going to make today, Josh has had a very rough day. He um, has, Landlord in New York is not going to cut him a break on his rent at all, even um, though he only worked for four days before he came home. But you know what? MLB has been fabulous. I guess, you know, they've got a whole lot of money, but they've been really good about it. So remember when we made mousse the other day? I still have some of it left. And I'm going to squeeze it into this other thing that I made a few days ago. Um, the no-bake cheesecake, I'm gonna mix it into there, so then we're gonna have like chocolate mousse cheesecake. Um, and I'm doing this because I feel sort of bad for Josh because he's so totally stressed. He had another call with the MLB today and they were amazing and said they're still gonna, you know, keep trying to give the guys something, keep paying them something, even though they're not really, I mean, they have meetings, but not a whole lot. And oh, I have to tell you the quote that the assistant commissioner said, this was a great quote and I'm gonna mess it up. He said something, oh, he said, um, baseball will be the heart of our country bouncing back. I thought that was great, because baseball is always the heart of everything. Okay, so going back down to here. Okay, so we've got the chocolate mousse and the cheesecake mix. We're gonna put that in a little cup. And again, if you're doing this with kids at home, which fun. You can do it however you want. We're going to take some strawberries, give you something healthy in there. Um, 
so anybody who like loves strawberry cheesecake or chocolate strawberry cheesecake, oh my gosh, how awesome is that? That and then my fun little thing we're gonna put on are some Teddy Grahams because we don't really have a graham cracker crust. So tuna melts and what should we call this? Stra uh, chocolate strawberry cheesecake um, dessert. That sounds good. Please don't forget there are lots of uh, businesses hurting out there. There's wine you can get delivered to your door. You can have um, from a, a local winery or I have some friends that do the wine at home type things. You can do those. Um, Norwex, if you're worried about running out of paper towels, Norwex are reusable. And I'd pull one of mine out. Oh, that's not an actual towel. That's a spongy thing. Um, but there's all kinds of things like that. Please reach out to local restaurants. Um, one of my really love Brass Rail. That guy does so much for other people around Thanksgiving time. He feeds literally thousands. Um, pick, carry out from there. Drive through. Try and do local. Although you know, if you got to do Taco Bell or something, then do it. But um, try and stay with local people if you can, because the small businesses really are going to need it. You're washing your hands a lot reach out to a uh, Mary Kay person or an Arbonne person. I've got names of all of these people if you want. Today, I think I mentioned before, I was I sent, oh, I hope nobody sees this. It was gonna be a surprise. I sent some pretzel making kits from Pampered Chef. If you need names for that, I can do that. But there's all kinds of fun things that we can, instead of like being, you know, stuck here and this is terrible, it can be like, chance to have fun and get to do things with your kids that they normally wouldn't be doing. So um, I guess that's about it today. It was a quick one because we really didn't have anything. So here, there's the chocolate chocolate cheesecake with strawberries and grams. So thanks for, oh wait, one other thing. I to almost totally forgot. Starting Monday, I teach a class called How to Be a More Educated Cocoa Consumer. Starting Monday at two o'clock, I am going to be doing it. I'm not doing it here live because people actually pay for this class, so I would feel really sort of bad putting it out just in general. So I'm going to do it on a Zoom call. If you're interested, I'll send you the link, um, but please let me know, two o'clock starting Monday. It's usually a two hour class. It's not gonna be that long because we're not gonna be taste testing all the different chocolates. I compare like Hershey's, Lynn, Diva, Dove, a whole bunch of them, it's really fun. Um, but I do that, and then I also see I see if people can, how discerning their palates are, if they can pick out what certain things are.